everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Merle, and today we're going to be making a recipe, once again, for some vegan mozzarella. I guess this is just like the mozzarella channel now, which I'm fine with, because my past with mozzarella runs deep. I used to eat a lot of mozzarella back in my dairy days. Anyway, so many of you, so many of you sent me this video from Herbie Foods. Herby Foods? Herby Foods. I think it's Herby Foods. This kind person named Paul is making this vegan mozzarella and oh my gourd, does that look a good. It looks so realistic. Like it looks shocking, I might even say. My immediate thought was like, okay, this one's got the look. Does it have the taste? That's always the question, isn't it? It's always one or the other, I feel like. Today we're gonna be making that. Shout out to Herby Foods for this recipe and shout out to all of you for sending it to me. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. What I like about this recipe right off the bat is that it seems pretty simple, minimal ingredients and quick. All things I appreciate. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is sort out our cashews. Have a little talk with them. No. Basically, we either want to soak our cashews overnight or you can just boil them for like 10 minutes and that'll soften them up a little bit. I chose to do the boiling method, so we're gonna add those into our blender. Then we've got some vegan yogurt, so your vegan yogurt of choice. Then we have some tapioca starch, some nutritional yeast, of course, the classic, and some salt. Now we're just gonna blend this up until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Okay, so now we're gonna take it over to the stove. And I've got some water, never heard of her. And then I've got some agar agar, which is essentially a vegan replacement for gelatin. Gelatin is made from bones of animals. There are bones in your jello. There's no easy way to say it. So agar agar is a nice algae-based replacement. Just a little unfun fact to drop on you. Anyway, so that's why we're using agar agar. So let's head over to the stove, shall we? Water, agar agar, and I'm just gonna stir that up until the agar agar dissolves. Then we're gonna bring it to a boil and reduce and let it simmer for about two minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna add this cashew cream right back into our pot. Okay, so that was a little bit of an adventure. I think the water measurement might've been off in the recipe because it seemed like there was way too little water. So I just kind of improvised and just kept adding a little more water just based on what I saw in his video. So I ended up using about a cup instead of a half a cup, but it's come together really nicely. And now what we're gonna do is like the cool part, which is to drop little spoonfuls of our mozzarella balls into some cold water, and then it's gonna come out as mozzarella. I refrigerated it so it'd be extra cold. All right, so here's our big moment. This is where the magic happens. I will say this recipe like seems to make quite a bit of cheese. Look at them all in there doing their own thing. Cool. Science. Bill Nye would be so proud of me. As far as vegan cheeses go, it's not too, too labor intensive and it makes a ton of cheese. Okay, and now he says to remove these little guys with two wet spoons. I'm not even sure if I could do it with dry spoons because they're in water, but maybe he's magic. It has the consistency, like the squishability of mozzarella. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Let's talk about the texture. Texture wise, it doesn't have exactly the same texture as mozzarella. Mozzarella has more of a bounce to it, a little bit more of a resistance. Whereas this is a little mushier, it does kind of give you that like soft cheese experience, which is really nice, but it was a teen 
tiny bit grainy. And I'm, I know for a fact I blended that thing real good. The flavor, I don't think anyone can really replicate the exact flavor of like a fresh mozzarella. I just don't. I, I, I haven't seen it yet. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. It still just tasted like a kind of cheesy, cashewy, fatty ball. <laughs> I like that ball. You know what I mean? Like that's good. With all of that said, let's see how this thing toasts up. I'm curious, because some vegan cheeses behave better and taste better when they're baked or heated up. What's cooking good looking? Oh, look who wanted to say hi while we're waiting. Say hi, Titi, big lady. So now we've got it all toasted up. That was fun. It seems to brown up pretty quickly, so I would be cautious if you want to like use this for a pizza or something. I think it's probably best used if you want to like mix it in with some pasta or you want to just eat it raw. That would be my advice. I'm not gonna say it's absolutely spot on, but I'm also not gonna say it's bad. He also said you could add miso paste if you want to, so that's another option. You don't have to wait for it to set. You just drop it in the ice water. That's really cool. And it makes a lot. Those are the biggest pros for me for this cheese. Cons are really just the fact that I don't think it's fooling anyone, but the look is very good. Like if you served it with tomatoes and balsamic to guests, I think they'd be like, oh, gasp. Have you finally caved? So that could be fun for everyone. But overall, I gotta say, I really like this cheese and I really like how quick it is. I think it could be tweaked a little here and there maybe with like which vegan yogurt you use, etc., etc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sending me this recipe. If you wanna hang out with me between videos, go ahead and join my Discord. I am on there almost every single day. Link is in description. And I also stream three times a week. I do study buddy Pomodoro streams where if you have work to do throughout the week, we can do it together. Well, I'm not gonna do your work, but I'll, I'll do work while you do work. You get it. And then I'm also streaming some games. I do Minecraft, I do Stardew Valley, I'm doing Firewatch. So there's plenty of ways we can hang out in between. And if you wanna follow along behind the scenes on these recipes, follow me on Instagram. I record that stuff all a the time. So anyway, that's it. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and a Vida I think I didn't say that right.